Hey guys, it is Callie with Bookshelf Banter, and I am so excited to bring you my next review. It is The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa. She is actually the author of the Iron Face series, and this is galaxies away from that series. I should say worlds away because it is not set in the Fae world. It is definitely in the human slash vampire world. And, um, and I do recall Julie saying something about never doing a vampire book and here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the immortal rules, the blood of Eden series, I think is what it's going to be called. It is a series. Um, I felt obligated to read it just because I really feel like that you need to know if it's good or bad. I also love Julie Kagawa, so I was so excited to read her newest book. Um, the book comes out in late April, so it's not too far away. And um, as far as things that you will like about the book, um, first of all, Julie does an amazing job of painting this amazing world. And I say amazing from the standpoint that it's just crazy, but it's dark and it's different. And, um, and 60 years in the past, they experienced this plague that wiped out um, millions of people. And so the vampires stepped up and started ruling the humans. Um, it sounds crazy. And I just, I was intrigued by the plot um, I was intrigued by the setting because the main character, Allison, is actually living in a city where humans are registered to be blooded by vam vampires, essentially just to kind of be cattle for them. And, um, and there's a lot more to it. I don't want to give a lot away. But at one point, Allison just can't stay there anymore. She has to leave. Um... But before she does, she does meet a vampire named Kanan that I, I want to mention because I really like him. He, uh, he's mysterious, um, and he's a vampire, so he's, he's old, and, um, but he's not, he doesn't look old. And, um, and so uh, you just, it's one of those things where in some vampire novels, there's like this really like uber beautiful vampire that we all fall in love with. And, and it's not that Kanan's like that at all, but um, he's more of kind of like a father figure and, and teaches Allison and, and all that. And, and I really liked how Julie wrote him. Uh, now, Allison has to go out on her own venture out into the world. And she comes into contact with rabbits, which are kind of like these zombie vampires that have no mind of their own. Um, I really thought that was interesting how Julie wrote those kind of creatures into the story. Um, I, I wasn't sure exactly where Julie was going with the whole story, especially after Allison leaves the city. Now, she comes into contact with another group of humans, and is you're, you're introduced to this character named Zeke, Ezekiel, and, um, and you instantly just kind of have a puppy love for him, I guess is the best way to put it. He's just, just a really good guy that's about the same age as Allison and, and where he's been brought up to believe that vampires are evil, just like Allison. Um, he is, I guess, not struggling with morals and ethics the way that Allison is. And I think Allison is kind of uh, admiring that through the book. Um, so... While they're together, they travel, they, they start looking for this place called Eden, which I think is going to tie in with Blood of Eden, and, um, and you guys are going to love what happens to them. Again, I don't want to spoil, but, uh, but as you can imagine, they come up against some really crazy stuff. Um, Allison is like a total kick-butt awesome hero in the book, and I think that that's one of the reasons I love the book so much. It is quite lengthy. Um, the book is almost 500 pages long. And it reminded me of almost kind of like a vampire version of The Host, which I totally think is weird that I, because Stephanie Meyer wrote The Host, and, he, and she also wrote Twilight, but it's where it's a totally different world. So you're getting into this book, and you're reading it, and you're discovering what it's all about. And at the same time, you're starting to fall in love with these characters. Um, or you're starting to really hate some of them and then you're surprised by some of them and uh, and then you're not surprised by others and I think that the story building the world uh, building in it is amazing and once you get into about 
Um, well, after the first section, because it's set up in a very interesting way, you really start getting into, the, getting into the story and you start figuring out where Julie's going with it. Now, I could be totally wrong because it's a series and now I'm dying to know what's going to happen next. But to be honest, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen next because Julie has set it up that way. Um, it's quite aggravating and frustrating, but also juicy and good because I'm going to just gobble up the next book when it comes out. And, um, and no, I'm not a rabbit or a vampire. So if you are hungry for a new vampire series and if you love Julie Cagua as much as I do, you, you may not even know Julie Cagua because you don't do Iron Fae or anything like that. But um, I think that if you love vampires, you're going to love this new series. It is The Immortal Rules by Julie Cagua. Go get it at the end of April. I think you're going to love it. And, um, and I think you're going to really love her main character, Allison. I think you're all going to think she's totally cool. And yeah, I think I'd hang out with her if she lived next door. Yeah, I think that's all. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy the review. And I think that you're going to love the book. And um, I'm giving it four books on the bookshelf. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day.